Chuck, I got some issues. Uh oh. Well, now I charge one hundred and seventy-five dollars an hour. <laughs> I'm more than happy to help. Take my money. Anything that you got, anything that's bothering you, I'm here. <laughs> All right. What is so, the issue? It, it's the color of light. The color of light. Yeah. So, so concept. you got to hear me out. You, you got to hear me out. Okay. okay. Um, I, as an astrophysicist, uh, know that we have something called color temperature. Okay. We, I am aware of that. We practically invented that concept. Okay. Well, I like photography, so that's how I know color temperature. Well, I'm going to get there, and you're going to find out why. I have issues, okay? Uh-oh. So, so uh, here's, what, here's what happens. If you have an object that is of a given temperature, uh, if, it's high, if it's hotter than absolute zero, it will be radiating some electromagnetic energy. Okay. Right? So, so the colder it is, the longer are the wavelengths of light it emits, radio waves. Uh, the universe is pretty cold. It's only three degrees Kelvin. That's emitting microwaves. And the hotter it gets, the more it emits light of higher and higher energy. So let's keep going. Uh, eventually, you can heat this thing up so that some of the energy that comes out, that it, it emits, comes out in the red part of the spectrum. That object, if you looked at it with your eyes, you'd say it's red. Okay? okay. It'll start doing that at a you know, 1,000, 1,500 degrees, okay? Keep increasing the temperature. It's not only giving you red light, it's also giving you light from the rest of the rainbow, from the rest of the optical spectrum. So it'll give you not only red, but also orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. If you do that in roughly equal amounts, the glowing object turns white. Okay. Because you have equal amounts of all the colors of the rainbow. So now, if you keep raising the temperature, this energy output continues to shift, and now it's emitting more blue light than red light. If you're emitting more blue than red through the spectrum, that object will look blue. Okay. Okay? So I'm going from like a couple of thousand degrees to like 6,000 degrees to 10, 12, 15, 20,000 degrees. We Is go that from, why on my stove? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting oh, there. So what? Okay. I'm getting there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hang with me. Hang with me. So an object goes from what is basically invisible to you, unless you had radio wave eyeballs or microwave eyeballs, to something that's glowing kind of red, and then it goes to amber, and then it starts glowing white, and then it'll start glowing blue, and it'll forever more glow blue, but it keeps giving you higher and higher energy. It'll give you uh, X-rays. It can even give you gamma rays. But the part of it that comes through the spectrum is more in the red than in the blue. So hot things are blue. Medium temperature things are white. Cooler things that are still glowing are red. Okay. So if you have an electric stove, when you first turn it on, if it feels warm, but you can't see it in the dark. No. Okay? That's giving you infrared. We can't see infrared. It's got to glow so hot that it's giving you a little bit of red. Right. And then you say, oh, it's glowing red hot. Right. But a red hot object is the coolest of all hots. Ah. Uh, okay? Damn. Damn. That's what I'm saying. That's Sorry. what I'm saying. Sorry, red. Dead. Okay. Oh, man. So when I see red hot this and red hot that, I'm saying, that ain't so bad. Right. That ain't so bad. Shoot. Okay, so now watch. Okay. So that is what's happening astrophysically. That's what's happening in the, to, in the laws of physics. But now bring in the artistic photographer. Okay. Okay. And in art, if you're going to paint a picture, a painting, you're going to create a painting, and you want the scene to feel cool, like it's in the Arctic, what is your predominant color in the painting? White. White, or, or, or not, not just white, blue, right. blue, especially blue, okay? Yeah. So they say that it's cool. Right. This is, this is a cool color. A cool, and, right. Okay, and then when they want to show something hot, like hell and devils and everything, red. they use the color red. All right. Because that's how our emotions, we see ice cubes and it's bluish and anything that got hot enough to hurt us is glowing red hot. 
It's rare that you'll see something so hot that it's glowing white or glowing blue on Earth because that stuff gets hot enough when it's red hot. All right, so our entire life experience is shifted to the cool end of the spectrum with us thinking that red hot is actually hot. As a result, we have the absurd conversation between an astrophysicist and a photographer. It's, um, okay, I need a cooler lamp for this. Right. So what do they do? They get the 6,000 degree bulb instead of the 3,000 degree bulb. This is in the days when you use tungsten, but we right. still think of those temperatures even in the LED world, okay? So when they say make this scene cooler, they mean get a higher temperature lamp. And when they say we want to make this scene warmer, it means they want to put in a lower temperature lamp that glows at like 3000 degrees or 2500 degrees. And I'm pissed off at this. <laughs> I'm just saying. Ah, that's great. <laughs> if, if you're gonna if you're gonna be numerical about whether something is warm or cool, you have permission to leave the artists behind in this conversation. You okay? scientifically illiterate troglodyte. No, I'm just saying. Damn I'm photographers. Just, I'm just saying. If you want to say that the scene is cool blue and 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 warm red, fine, but don't hand it a temperature. Right. Don't give it temperatures. Because you have the absurd conversation. Increase the color temperature of the lamp so that the scene it's illuminating is cooler. Well, see, you got to. I do that. hate that. You have to talk to each other in oh, temperatures, I... otherwise we wouldn't know what to do. So if, if you're ever shooting something and somebody says, all right, yo, let's, let's, uh, give me that, give me that daylight and daylight is 5,600, right? right. It's, it's basically between that and 6,000. And by the right. way, that is, that is the temperature of the sun. Right. Okay. So and now, wait, 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 wait. And that is the temperature of the sun. And so, so and in daylight, does that look blue to you? No, it, I mean, but, but it's bluer than a, than a, a, a cooler, well, cooler uh, lamp. Sorry. It's cooler than a low temperature lamp. Right. But but if you look at the 5,600, that's daylight. By the way, it's not yellow. That is not a yellow lamp. Yet you still have people saying, the sun is yellow. Sun is no, it's not. The sun is freaking white. Okay? Right. That all right, right. Well, I, I interrupted you. No, what are you, you saying? didn't. I mean, that's that. You basically that's what it is. But the, it's really like the only reference that photographers have. But what you're saying is photographers need to come up with a new reference um, because what they're saying is scientifically wrong. It, 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 the, the numbers are yeah, wrong. Yeah, it's it's artistically sensible, but then don't put numbers on it because right. with these numbers mean things. Right. If you're gonna put a ten thousand degree lamp, that's a hot lamp. And that's a very blue lamp. Blue is hot in the universe. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, now I'm we have blue stars. They're 20, 30,000 freaking degrees. We have red stars. They're called red giants. They're hovering around 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 degrees, barely glowing. So I'm, I'm, I, I like what you're saying. <laughs> I just like the fact that I'm, I'm changing red hot to white hot from now on. <laughs> now some people know that white hot is hotter than red hot. Right. It's just not it's just not common but, in society. But blue hot is my newest thing. I'm going blue hot all the time. You know what I mean? Don't you know what with all the way with a blue hot poker. That's what I want for you. Like <laughs> Oh, no, the problem is it's melted by then. <laughs> ah, you mean yeah. a fireplace poker. That's a problem. That's that, right. You're right cuz it's oh yeah, that would melt. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you start melting stuff. Uh, that's a, that's a problem. That's why we we have very little experience with white white hot and blue hot. Yeah. Um, but red hot you can get almost anything to red hot temperatures and Yeah, you don't see a lot of white hot though. No, I, you don't. You know my dad was a printer and so in printing, he owned a printing company. And the coolest thing in the plant was how you make photo plates. So the plate is treated with a chemical that when exposed to this super white hot light, the image is burned onto the plate and it's called burning a plate, right? And then that image is the only thing on the plate now that will transfer ink. And that's how um, you transfer okay, an image. Okay. But cool. they used 
I forget the name of these little tubes. They came together, and they and I forget the. Oh, it's an arc actual. lamp. That's part arc. Of, it's, yes. Yeah, yeah, carbon and arc. And the light in between. That's a very high temperature arc between yes. there. That's correct. And it was the coolest thing in the world, and you weren't allowed to look at it because it would make you blind. And right, because it's, it's 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 high in ultraviolet light. It's very high energy light. Right. And what they do is they have these carbon rods, basically, and you you attempt to send current through it, but it has to gap across an air gap. And depending right. on what your separation was and how big your current was, you could determine how what the threshold was before you jumped the arc. Right. And there, there it That's was. Exactly it. And the whole thing was just the, those two tubes and the light in between. And you had to look at it with like the same way you look at I forget the glass. The welder's goggles. It's yeah. A yeah. Welder's guy. You got to look yeah. at it with that same thing you look at a uh, 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 an eclipse with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was the it was the coolest thing in the world. But it was white hot. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and hot, very clearly hotter than anything red hot, right? Yeah. That's what that is. So I, so these are my issues that I'm bringing to you, Chuck. I don't well, have a solution for them. I'm just highlighting them. And, and by the way, when I walk up to a water cooler mm -hmm. and, and, one, and the, the, the two spigots are color-coded, yes. one is red, and, and, and I say, okay, blue. I'm no longer in my lab. I'm in the real world. And so blue is not hotter than red. They think blue is cold. So that's my, I, I waste, I can't tell you how much of my life I've wasted staring at twin spigots on a water cooler, figuring out which one is the cold water. So what we should do is maybe the red is hot and then maybe pink for like the cooler blue, for the cooler water. Like you okay. want the oh, water? Keep working on that, Chuck. Yeah, I don't know about that, stop. keep working. Oh, gray, great. No, nobody wants to drink gray water, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm trying to think all right, that's all. That's the only, that's all I wanted to do on this explainer. That's a really cool, but see, now you got me mad at the fact that all these things exist in life that tell us that blue is cooler than red. Because now yeah, that not, you said it's, that, it's everywhere. And even the photographers know it's hotter because they ask for a higher temperature. That's right. That, that's, that's the insidiousness of it all. All right, cool. Anyhow. All I right, know what we dude. should do. Here's the what? solution. Next time you see a photographer people, just punch them. <laughs> <laughs> did that work for you so far? Is that really? Is that how you, you did that to your boss a few times? <laughs> how far did that get you? Uh, no, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Did we find you on the street before you had this gig? Right. <laughs> I punched my boss one too many times. Exactly. <laughs> All right, dude, we got go to go quit it there. All right. All right. Uh, thanks, Chuck. This has been uh, Star Talk, an explainer on the temperature and color of light and the fight between the astrophysicist, the artist, and the photographers. And we'll, uh, we, the astrophysicist, will probably lose, but that's okay. <laughs> There's other fish to fry out there. Not, not if you punch them. <laughs> Sneak that in and low. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, just, uh, you, you get your way real fast, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. This is Star Talk Explainer. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep working up. <laughs>